Dude, I feel like you and I were stuck in a forest for two months. A forest? Yeah, and I and I feel like you and I were like, I don't think we're ever going to make it out. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we reached a wall made of leaves. And for days, we were just digging and digging. And, you know, our fingers are bleeding. And it's like, I don't think I'm going to fucking get out of this. Uh-huh. And then we tore back the last leaf. We watched the sunrise. <laughs> Uh huh. And October's finally over. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it based on my makeup, but it's over. No, we it hit midnight. Mm. It is November first, and here we are. Right here we are. Happy We're November. Definitely filming this no, November first. Stop. <laughs> Let, there's gonna be someone who's naive out there. Like, no, it's November. They said it is. No, wait. Don't people film videos the same day they post them? Mm. <laughs> I I always thought. That's what we no did. that's kind of crazy if people did that because the <laughs> uploading thing is crazy yeah sometimes it's so slow so happy november happy november i know chelly is so much happier lighter you feel free now the birds are singing i i just want to say it's not that i don't like spooky books it's not that because i do i feel like last year's spooky season really fucking hit for me Go ahead. Name. I don't know what it was. No, I did it. 13. That was that like was the only year. one you liked. <laughs> that was enough to have my eyes wide open. You did not like the blackened teeth. You did not even really remember okay. hidden pictures. Yeah. You didn't like the mm. serial killer one. Why are you dragging? <laughs> wait, wave. I don't think you Why? Lied. I loved why. No, you didn't. <laughs> But she at the end watch that episode when she puts on her coat and she looks inside and in, inside so don't like, spoil it what <laughs> come on <laughs> who's gonna be like fuck i've been waiting on way <laughs> <Hello. laughs> <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> okay you i got feel me. like you romanticized last spooky season yeah mm. what's wrong with me i don't know <laughs> I just, I think next spooky season. No. I feel like next spooky season, we got to go full on like disturbing as horror. No. No, I think we I'm have good. To. I think we have. No, now we you almost did you, with Robin, Tommy. You want me to be miserable then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold your hand the whole time. No, Ryan, Tommy was so bad. I'll hold your hand. It was uh, so bad. Please, uh, <laughs> Please. I hated Ryan Tommy. That was like the worst See, read of the year. No, I hated it too. No. But wasn't it so fun to talk about? No. <laughs> Imagine. I, I hated it. I hated it. I hated every single second. I loved every single second of filming that. I thought it was fun to talk about. Mm-hmm. But I wish I could. I wish that after we stopped talking about it, I could just like delete it from my brain. You know, I wish I could just. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish we didn't talk about it. I wish I liked it. <laughs> that's it that's it no i get you but i wish you it know, was worth the read i fucking get that with 90 percent of the books we read for spooky season let's just i put a tarp over it <laughs> october's gone i'm not and even gonna it, look isn't back. it funny though because like the first time we did spooky season i think you only liked one book you know what though? <laughs> i think i think we're just funny though I, well, it's kind of like childbirth, you know. What you forget how it's definitely <laughs> not like childbirth it's like exactly at all. Like childbirth, I'm not a mom, but I think I think I understand. No, the pain. no, stop. I just think mother's stop. Mad. Don't just say like, that. Uh, no, I think I get it. No, I get it. No, Charlie's not serious. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. Um, but I think it's <laughs> the connection I was trying to make is I think I forget how much I don't like things sometimes. Yeah. And you know that because you've seen me say I fucking hate this. Yeah. And then the next day I'll be like five stars. <laughs> it's like when I. <laughs> Best thing ever. Do you remember when I watched Suicide Squad like nine times? The first version. Yeah. Yeah. The first version. There's a second version. The Suicide Squad. <laughs> what? Shut up. No. no. What do you mean? <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not. You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> you did not miss the suicide squad did you I watched suicide squad nine times and i conditioned myself to love it thank you i didn't know about the suicide squad is it kind of like the justice league uncut no it's a whole other movie is that john cena oh my god it is how did you miss the suicide squad what the fuck 
Wait, I'm confused. That's John Cena, right? Then who the fuck is that? That's also the... John Cena? No, what's that? That's the guy who led Suicide Squad. Wait, we gotta we gotta watch this movie. <laughs> no, I'm good. Was it bad? You see it once, you've seen you've seen everything you could see, you Might know? Might as well watch it eight more times. Like no, I did with first Suicide Squad. No, I'm good. I I'm I glad. want us to watch Smile too. I'm down for that. That's what I want to watch. I'm down for that. Okay, good. Stay tuned. So, October, gone in the wind. Don't know her. She's gone. Spider? Gone. What spider? Gone. Thank you. Happy November. Happy month of love and caring and friendship and thankfulness Mm -hmm. and gratefulness and everything good. Yeah. Except for the things that stands for. But, (laughs) happy November. Happy November. I want to feel love again. Okay. And what better place to feel love? I don't know how to end that sentence. I'm going to take you to a beautiful cafe. Mm. A cafe on a beautiful harbor around beautiful, for some reason, weirdly sexy people. Okay. <laughs> apparently everyone's sexy here. Well, they have to be. I wouldn't read it if they weren't. No, but like everyone is sexy. Here. I wouldn't read it if they weren't. Well, let's join the sexy ride. <laughs> Do you think a sexy book? Mm about mm-hmm. a coffee shop just a, a shop <laughs> and, and a mystery can save your life no what do you mean it's, <laughs> it's, a, co- it's about a coffee can shop can you tell me mystery. what it's about oh, no you're supposed to say yes and then the music is supposed to pop in well the music is paused <laughs> no i need you to tell me i need you to tell me a little bit more close your eyes okay you are just a girl just a easy just a girl easy okay okay and you kind of went through the shittiest job experience of your life which we'll get into later but it sucked okay and you needed a career change your eyes are wide open by the way i'm sorry it's just that like i'm see i can see everything okay. through your eyes of course and you're just like i need a job change my aunt dot she kind of left the country mm. because she was over here like i'm gonna work on my tan which is fu- fucking wild but think about that later <sighs> and, love that for and you're like i'm gonna take over her fucking cafe you have a whole life change and you want to start fresh and you want to focus on you mm. but how can you do that when the produce man is sexy as fuck and no what do you mean wolverine that makes it so much <laughs> better now i can definitely focus on me I'm focusing on the sexy produce man. So again, do you think a book about a coffee shop, but also a little mystery can save your life? Also, it's sexy. I think it could fix my life. I'm sorry. We don't save lives, but we do fix lives. Welcome to the Book Fix Podcast, a podcast where we fix lives one book at a time. I'm your host, Chelly. And I'm your host, Tehida. Again, happy November. I'm You're so, so happy. <laughs> You look dude, glowing. I've never you. seen your hair this shiny. I've never seen your <gasps> cheeks so beautifully flushed. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the end. I'm here. Everyone's happy. Yeah. <laughs> we're in a sexy town. Well, Dream not, Harbor. Yeah, I was going to be like, no, well, we're here. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Here? Yes. But we're- also in Dream Harbor. We're in a place called Dream Harbor. Mm-hmm. And oh. today we are reading yeah. the Pumpkin Spice Cafe book by Lori Gilmore. A very talked about book online. Mm-hmm. I've heard so much about this, it's but can I say? So have I. I've heard so much, but also heard nothing at all. I've heard people's thoughts without them spoiling their thoughts which i appreciate that's not what we do here though we will spoil this whole book everything so and we're also gonna like kind of fuck around with it (laughs) so yeah a little bit yeah embellish so let's go to dream harbor the setting of our book our main character's name is Jeannie, and she was previously also i'm not gonna say this book in order i'm sorry i'm just gonna say the deets mm. so okay. our girl genie she's coming from literally the worst job experience you can ever have yeah 
She was definitely overworked. I believe she was like an accountant. She was like... Or a receptionist. No, she was like... Something in the corporate world. She was an assistant manager, but she called... She called herself like an over embellished um, assistant, basically, because mm. all she did was like check schedules and then like bring coffee. Yeah. So it was still a lot. It, she was a workaholic. Mm-hmm. She made work her entire life to the point where she cut off all of her social ties. Mm-hmm. She had no real family ties. And like, well, she, you know, she had her brother, but that's kind of it. But she cut everything off. And all of a sudden one day her boss just didn't come out of his office and what bucking gets to me is the fact that because he was such a workaholic no one bothered to check for a while yeah that's so sad i can't imagine being such a workaholic where people just assume oh they're just in there working can i ask you a question okay how many days do you think would pass of me not texting you where you would get worried Mm, what it, day is it if it's in the middle of the week i don't think i would worry but i feel like we're texting each other more now yeah currently so i feel like it would have to be like two days max i think same but i think on the second day i wouldn't text you like panicky i think i would just text you like hey how's it been going yeah if it passed two more days i'd be like hey i haven't heard from you are you good (laughs) and then i think the next day after those like four days have passed i think i'd call you but the thing is is that you post on your instagram stories yeah so i feel like even though you're not texting me i know you're i know how you're doing but what if i stop posting so if you didn't post anything at all i think it would be like a day and a half maybe Mm. i don't know i think but also you can see when someone's online on instagram so i think i would be really worried also if something were to happen, your sister would tell me. So mm, that's true. That's true. What okay. about you for me? I th- Like I said, I think it would be like two days. Well, I don't know. Do we text each other daily? I feel like sometimes we do. Sometimes, yeah. I think if we if we were left off mid conversation, mm-hmm. like if you had said something and then I answered and you didn't respond, I think I would text you back after a day like hey hello don't but if we ignore me but if we hadn't been talking and i just realized you kind of went like m.i.a m.i.a mm-hmm. i think maybe like two or three days and then i would just call you yeah. yeah yeah i think that that's reasonable so it makes me sad to think that the idea of not having someone who would check up on you kind of scares me i, I didn't realize how much that scared me <laughs> Yeah, it freaks me out too. Yeah, so that's I feel like that theme has come up before, but I I don't know where exactly. Like I can't pinpoint it. I feel like that too. But it definitely like makes me freak out a little bit because sometimes I'm not an amazing texter. So I'm like I sometimes I think like I should text more often. More often. (laughs) No, that's how I feel about sorry, I'm like over here now. (laughs) You're gone, you're out of the screen. (laughs) That's how I feel about pictures, because then I feel like, Mm -hmm. wow, I'm going to regret not having memories of a certain thing when things are gone. Oh, dude, that's why I'm taking so many pictures now. Dude, I'm trying. I love that you do the photo dumps. Yeah, it's because I don't know. Randomly, one day I was thinking, damn, I looked so young before. Like when you look at pictures, you're like, damn, I look so young. Dude, do you remember when I dyed my hair like red? Yeah, I don't have any pictures, but it's because I had the the teenage blues <laughs> mm-hmm. so but i i miss it because i'm like damn i can't believe i didn't take any so i want to be able to like record yeah more mm-hmm. and i like that instagram archives all of your things even yeah if you i love that mm-hmm. so i have things to look back at now yeah even if it's cringe because i fucking hate taking pictures in person Dude, I hate stop. Being the person, like, <laughs> you know yeah oh I you just kind of have to do it you yeah. know it's it's it is cringy but I in know, the moment, but later on, you're going to be glad that you did. And I know if another friend does it, I'm like grateful for it because I'm like, OK, there's evidence of this. Like, yeah, you know, there's like <laughs> I was here. It. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I have an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. But it it's sad. It kind of reminds me of the right. The person who wrote The Great Gatsby. What's his name? Gatsby. <laughs> Mr. Gatsby. Oh, my God. I know this. Why am I blanking? 
Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Okay. So in The Great Gatsby, spoiler alert for The Great Gatsby. <laughs> oh my God, don't spoil The Great Gatsby. Incoming major spoiler for The Great Gatsby in two seconds. When Gatsby dies. Oh my God. <laughs> edit this episode can you put a little like editing like gatsby spoiler in two seconds yeah i will <laughs> when that happens in the story <laughs> at the end of the book no one goes to his funeral yeah but it's crazy because so many people acted like they loved him mm -hmm. but then that happened to fitzgerald too no one came to his funeral yeah and that makes me so sad that I, makes me so sad i figured too. that out when i turned 25 mm -hmm. and i saw like a little bit <laughs> <laughs> dude i could cry right now if yeah. i think about it too deeply it's a lot it's, it's really sad to think about honestly so our main character genie she has this moment because her boss that didn't come out of his office when they finally did open the door he had passed mm -hmm. like he had just died and i don't even think they knew what it was i i i had assumed it was like a heart attack or something it might have been something like very like sudden yeah or an aneurysm i don't remember it might have been an aneurysm because some one of the characters had mentions like maybe it's the stress of him having a job having a wife and having a mistress you know oh god uh-huh so she has a moment like fuck when i die who's gonna call to check up on me and she couldn't think of a single person, except for her brother, but she couldn't think of a single person. She remembers Dream Harbor as a place she used to visit frequently. Mm -hmm. But because she became an adult and a workaholic, she just cut her ties with this place. Yeah. So she has a moment of like, I'm just going to go. And she wouldn't really visit either. No, she stopped. Because visiting. people didn't really recognize her. Mm -hmm. Like they knew that Dot had a niece and a nephew, but it wasn't like. Yeah. oh you're back it was just yep. kind of like oh okay. it was a new girl yeah so she dot dot is her aunt and her aunt is kind of a spontaneous person and in dream harbor she just kind of left she's like i have two workers here i'm out i'm gonna go get a tan in cancun see ya mm. she didn't even prep her which no. is crazy to me like she literally just gave her her cafe to her niece and mm -hmm. was like i'm leaving bye yep so when genie was here it took her a while to finally open the cafe because she didn't know what the hell anything yeah. was or you know how to do anything honestly Pretty sure you need like a barista license yeah so she probably did a hell of shit oh yeah you do yeah so genie's over here like okay i'm gonna start fresh start a new life it's not about weird stressed out panicky genie anymore it's go with the flow genie yeah she keeps bringing yeah. that up that she's changed now she's a new woman but there's a thing that keeps happening every night she hears noises outside and it's not just like little scuttering like she she it's like scratching it's like scratching and the trash being knocked down yes exactly can I say something? Yes. I knew. You knew? I knew where this was going. Can I say something? Yeah. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, did I knew. Well, I, at first I didn't care, but because it kept being brought up that she couldn't sleep at night because she kept hearing the scratching and, yeah. you know, her trash is always knocked down. I was thinking to myself, I know where this is going. And I kind of hate that I know where this is going. Mm, okay i kind of it's too early to say that so <laughs> too soon. so she's over here sleep deprived and she's like it's okay new day she's holding a bat i thought that was so funny <laughs> new day knew me but she hears she hears knocking at the back door mm -hmm. right yeah and she grabs a bat mm -hmm. oh she's ready to beat someone up and for first of all sorry it's been a while happy happy november put a pin in that um, here we go again <laughs> The first line in this book, if I remember correctly, was I've never ki no genies never killed anyone, but there's a first day for everything. I hated that line. Mm. I hate that. I hate that so much. Mm. Stop trying to make me laugh in the first page. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't succeed. And now I'm angry. <laughs> it's because you don't get her. She's so 
she's so relatable and you know she's trying to be funny and quirky and i hate it mm. i like actually hate it oh okay like it drives me insane i i'm gonna be honest i didn't love it either i don't think i hated it like you did but when it started that way i kind of just like rolled my eyes and you want to know something when mm. it started like that i was like okay okay this seems like kind of like a a uh, young adult book i didn't know i didn't know you didn't know that there was no. spice in the pumpkin spice cafe but oh, it has the word right in it <laughs> i was blinded <laughs> pumpkin spice sex 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 smut, but, smut, smut. <laughs> there is spice in this there was book. a big red pepper on the cover <laughs> can you imagine if it was the pumpkin spice <laughs> cafe <laughs> pumpkin spice cafe parentheses chelly <laughs> come on come on get it come together on, girl there's fucking spice in this book dude i didn't know <laughs> so when when this produce guy walks in and she's like who the fuck are you you're here to fucking kill me first of all she had no fucking two cents to look at the what he was holding and see that no she saw that it was gourds, gourds but she didn't get i was like girl you have fucking pumpkins here it's november <laughs> october november i don't want to talk it's about o- october it's october <laughs> It's October because Halloween is approaching. Okay, but people are going to think you hate October. Stop it. Sorry, I do really love October. Okay, so. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> she's <No>. joking. <laughs> but she's over here like, I can't connect. You're probably robbing me. And it's like, bitch, this man's bringing you stuff. Mm, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know? She's quirky. And he's over, here, he's over here fucking shaking, like, please, <laughs> I need oh, to yeah. put this down. Because it's so heavy. And she's finally connects like oh because he says it it's It's thursday it's thursday it's the produce guy and she was like i'm here to drop off your supplies big ass stupid moment i know my aunt told me that yeah she did say that dot had mentioned it to her but she had just forgotten but it kind of felt like she was there long enough that she already knew i don't know i was really confused at this point yeah she should have known you're Mm -hmm. right Mm mm-hmm Because it's not like this was her first day there. She had been there struggling. Mm, Lori, Lori, write this down. (laughs) Okay, so another thing. Insta love. Right? She thought he was so fucking sexy. It's so funny because she's over here like, I'm going to focus on me, but I can't look at that sexy farmer with his sexy ass beard. and (laughs) Fuck. Mm. And then when it cuts to his perspective, damn her and those hedgehog hedgehog (laughs) sweats first of all me but second of all like what the that's why you want to see yourself in this character (sighs) they weren't sonic the hedgehog so you were close close i hated that i feel like i'm going crazy okay so insta love between these two characters i would say it was more like insta lust there's a difference, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Okay, no, I think so too. So both of these characters clearly want each other, but for some reason, Logan in his mind is he's like, no, I can't. I can't. Hold it together, Logan. Stop it, Logan. <laughs> Don't let the monster in. Put the Wolverine away. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my God. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out the nails. Sorry. Yeah, I was picturing Wolverine, me so too, it re- it really took me out when it mentioned that he had a beard. Because because the way that they mentioned it was that it was long. Good for him. So I was like, not my Wolverine. No, not my no. Hugh Jackman in this story, <laughs> young Hugh Jackman did not have a beard. So Logan, mm. Logan, he- Logan mentions to Jeannie. Oh. That, you know, maybe it's children who are messing around with the trash, who are, yeah. you know, making all these noises. So he's like, hey, there's going to be a, a meeting, a, a town meeting. You should go and let people know your, uh, your concerns, your issues. Yeah. Maybe they'll come up with solutions. And she was like, oh, OK, will you be there? And he's like, fuck, fuck. I wait, wasn't wait, good. I never go. But now I have to go. I don't know what's coming over me, but the monster's out. Of course I'm going. Yeah. Which I think was going to be the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she's dropping something and they're about to not reach it. And he takes out his Wolverine nail. Just (laughs) stabs it. (laughs) Got it, babe. (laughs) So he would have been so much better. (laughs) (laughs) So he leaves Mm -hmm. and is immediately just like into this girl. But he's like, I'm not going to tell anyone because I can't have a repeat 
of last time. Yeah, he keeps bringing up last time. How embarrassing last time was. Well, they say I can't have a repeat of the winter like ball or whatever. Yeah. Called. Yeah. I I kind of already knew that I didn't know it was going to be a proposal. But I thought it was just going to be like a some sort of rejection, like something was going to go wrong publicly in this town full of chismosos. So everyone's aware sexy of everything. Sexy chismosos. Sexy. Of yeah, of course. Sexy chismosos. I hate that everyone's sexy. Why? You want <laughs> you want Lori to be like, no, everyone's sexy except that bitch over there. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> everyone's just so attractive. But then Fred over here. Fred's a little... And don't get me started with Frank. She just starts hating <laughs> on everyone. Actually, no. You know what? Stay sexy. Mm. So the town meeting, whatever they get to the town meeting. And for some reason, Logan forgot that everyone in Dream Harbor, like you said, is she's Mosul and they're kind of a little bitchy. Mm-hmm. Would I would have been intimidated living here. Can I say that? No, dude, me too. I would hate to live in a small town like this because it feels like everyone's just in your business. Yeah. Like, let me live my life. <laughs> and he mentioned the book club. Yeah. The book clubbers. <laughs> Okay, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Ask How me. do you feel? Because I have a very certain feeling about this. How do you feel about books, contemporary books, that put book bookish people in their books? I feel like we've talked about this before. I don't like it when people bring up like tropes where it's like, oh my god, my OTP, my ship. Yeah. Oh my god, what is your ship name? I don't like when or like your tbr list remember that and yeah. colleen hoover yeah yeah gross i <laughs> i don't like it but you know we had done a whole batch of spooky at this point i was like i'll i'll take anything i'm, I'm grasping I'll, at straws here i'll read anything at this point <laughs> that <laughs> has feel again. that has a little bit of <laughs> sexy times in it you know what i mean <laughs> okay anything okay. a little cutesy so i didn't hate that there were bookish people in I, this book what i do hate though is that the bookish people walk with their heads up high mm-hmm, mm-hmm. heads up high come on logan is trying to live his life over here yeah he's tending to his his big farm two goats and four chickens of course so of course well, Harry I mean, styles he <laughs> <laughs> but he's over here tending and they're like hmm weird that you're not like seeing anyone i don't know oh there's a new girl and you're kind of like fucking single as fuck. And it kind of reminds me of that book. Remember, remember, um, Logan, that book, uh, the milkmaid and the buff ass farmer man. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jeannie? <laughs> it's like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Can you be more obvious? <sighs> I hate it. I do. I do hate when they have one of the characters overstep boundaries. Like that one guy. I don't remember their names, but the bookish guy. Jacob. He, I don't remember exactly what Jacob did that pissed me off, but there was a moment where I felt like this is so cringe mm-hmm. that you're saying things about like bookish tropes or bookish, you know, sexy times or whatever with like two real people standing right next to you. Yep. I didn't like it. But like you said, I was grasp- grasping at straws here. Mm-hmm. So this town, their meetings are kind of crazy. First of all, the mayor of the town, whose name I don't remember, he. Hank. No. Hank. Because Frank was the husband. I don't remember his name. And the, honestly, the mayor who is clairvoyant clairvoyant but also the father of the bookstore girl and whose name is hold on hold on hold on no don't say hazel <laughs> <laughs> sorry i mean haze yeah. dude haze <laughs> <laughs> so the ma- i like how we brush past that yeah the, ma- the mayor's clairvoyant that's why it's called dream harbor he has dreams about it whatever Dude, what the fuck? I if I walked into this shit, if I walked into this shit, excuse me, can you imagine if you and I went to a meeting? Yeah, and let's just say we went to like a book club or something, mm. and we're sitting Beautiful. down, and, and the main book club person's like, "Sorry, I'm late. It's just you know, I had another vision. I had a premonition. <laughs> I had a premonition, and I just saved everyone. So, how are we doing today? I'd be like, 
I would <laughs> run away. I would run towards it. Like, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I would run towards them and ask them, hey, can you have any dreams about me and save me a little bit or what? No, I've actually never. Tra- <laughs> she like gets a big it's like Raven. <laughs> Whoa. What'd you see? But it's just like, like that's so fucking funny. But <laughs> I feel like this this is gonna come up mm. a lot. The clairvoyancy, yeah, in the series, you know. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna die the next time we talk about that because it's not important in this one that much. <laughs> oh, me too. Except for the fact that he's just kind of like, because Jeannie goes yeah there's been noises happening behind my house and i i know it's not kids i know it's not it sounds scary and he's just like hold on hold hold my mic he's just like oh that really uh, whoa (laughs) um i just had a vision i think the only way that you could get closure and and love it i mean uh solve this problem is if logan helps you he tells her that he had a dream okay. last night. Because isn't it just his dreams? He doesn't yeah, that's act- why it's called Dream Harbor. He doesn't actually. That's not what clairvoyancy is. Okay, boys. I'm sorry. I didn't write it. Okay. Go ahead. But, oh. Go ahead. But he basically tells everybody, I had a dream actually about this very instance right here, right now. And About I, you, Janine. It's Jeannie. No, that's what I said. <laughs> uh, yeah, Janine. Anyway, so, <laughs> and in my dream, Logan was the one who helped you out and, and solved reason, your problems. He had no shirt in that dream, but I don't know if that's connected or not. It's connected. <laughs> <laughs> so, Logan, take off your shirt. <laughs> I mean, if it's dream said so. <laughs> So now he, yeah, Logan sorry. is volunteered by the town to basically help her solve this noise issue. And you know what's sad? What? Jeannie saw that he didn't want to help her. Dude, I and don't... she was like, you know, and in front of everybody too, because she was at the podium. She was like, no, it's it's okay. I mean, Logan, Logan's a very busy man, oh, so he doesn't have to help little old me. I'm gonna stop you right there. And then he's like, no, I'll help you, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna run out to her. Dude, you're gonna be holding my mic often. Uh, my head hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there because these bitches met for what? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, right? They were magical. That's, that's as, as long as they've known each other. He is this magical. This man you've met for 20 minutes has now been told that he basically has to stay the night one night at your place and figure out what the noise is. He's not offered sleep, by the way. Mm. And he's not staying in a comfy house. He's staying in the cafe. Yeah. So. Actually, she's sleeping above the cafe. Yeah, but they're supposed to stay in the cafe to find out what the noise is. The thing that gets me about this book. Why am I holding your mic? <laughs> because I wanted to show you. The thing that gets me about this book is that they described Logan to be like, he looks up and then he's so dejected. Ugh. No, I don't have to do it. But then, and then her face. Is that not sudden, what I said? And then, and then her face falls as they describe it. And then I he's like, literally I know said you did. that. I know you did, but they described the movements they described the faces they described everyone's fucking reaction and fucking Slow mr motion. mayor having a premonition in the background yeah why the fuck i don't want to know every single mm. every character wore their their emotions on their sleeve their heart on their sleeve that's so beautiful <laughs> i was so fucking over it. uh place you wanted romance or what <laughs> i do uh, what do you want then dude i feel like mm. I feel like I told you, hey, I want to have, I want to have a five, three, five star meal. I want to have five star, and you brought me a plate, and I was so hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, me? you were at a restaurant. You brought it for me. You didn't cook it. I'm the waitress in <laughs> no. your fantasy. You, you own the restaurant, but you, oh, hey, but sometimes so nice. you feel, sometimes you feel like you want to humble, humble yourself. Oh, okay, so okay. you bring me the plate, and you're like, I don't know what they put in there, but they said they tried really hard, mm. and I've been waiting for hours, and I'm so hungry, and it's. It's just rice crackers and water. You're I welcome. Feel like, I feel like that's what this story was to me at the beginning. I was over here just trying to have sustenance and I was like, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to skip forward. <laughs> We're I don't talking think, so slow. I don't think they actually knew that he was going to stay the night until after this event, though. So I remember her being like, yeah, we talked about it. And now he's staying over. Sleepover. So going up to that point. 
um, we're introduced to his besties, Hazel and Annie, Mm -hmm. and a few others, but those are the two main ones in this book. And they're girls that he grew up with, and they're kind of intimidating in the eyes of Jeannie, because she's like, I don't want them to think that I'm just here to fuck their friend. And they even tell her, don't fuck with our friend. But it's funny because then Annie leaves and Hazel's like, oh, by the way, I'm like totally okay with it. Like you do you, you live your truth. You know? yeah. I actually, I'm kind of clairvoyant myself. <laughs> but first of all, run the fuck she's not. <laughs> runs in the family. I, wait, hold on. Bless you. What are you? Achoo. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, the bitch is clairvoyant. <laughs> Uh huh. Oh my god! So it would be funny if this whole town was clairvoyant. It would be really funny, or at least just their family. I fucking love that shit. Even uh-huh. the dogs. Oh, the so dogs are like <laughs> <laughs> they just can't communicate with the song. <laughs> so she basically gets an okay from one of the friends, like you can date him, but she's like, Hazel. no, yes, but she's like, no, genie. You got to be good genie. You got to be changing for the better genie. You can't you can't show weakness. But my god, they cannot they even last both a second really into each other. Because the night that they have the little stakeout, they're like in sleeping bags next to each other and like automatically like are facing each other. And like I think she's leaning on him. Yeah. Dude. Uh, dude. Wait, do they make out at this point? I don't remember no, anymore. No, because because um, Logan, fucking his his claws out, mm-hmm. he was over here like, I'm going to kiss her. I'm going to kiss her. But then they hear sounds oh, outside. yes. And he doesn't. And he's like, fuck. I can't believe I almost let the monster win. And then in her mind, fuck. I should have let the monster win. Yeah. <laughs> and so the noises at this point end up being a cat. It's a little kitten. He's white. They name him Casper. Yeah. That's it. And I thought that was the reveal Mm -hmm. at this point. I was like, that was the fucking stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And can I say something? Mm. I'm going to skip forward, like take a big leap. At the point where they first kiss. When was that? Was that at the farmer's market? No. No. Before the farmer's market. No, it was the farmer's market. I don't remember. I think it was the farmer's market. They were literally having a farmer's market, and then one of the tents flew away, and mm-hmm. she left because it was raining and she was just miserable. Mm-hmm. And then he came, like, hey, I'll help you with something. And then she, like, puts her arms around his neck, and then they are looking at each other, like, I'm not going to do this. And then they do, and they, like, fucking make out. Yeah. I was so like is this it (laughs) wait this is it Mm -hmm. they're just like good now i couldn't see any any real big conflict from keeping them together because i know in romance stories they're gonna end up together i know that but i like to see the conflict Mm -hmm. or at least feel it looming in the corner because i know fucking logan kept bringing up like christmas christmas but even then, when they finally revealed that it was because his girlfriend, who used to like travel around, it was someone who wasn't really from the town, didn't want to be a small town girl living in a small town world. Yeah. Just said no to him. It sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I feel like that's a valid insecurity, though, especially when he's living in a small town that are full of cheese mozos. Clairvoyance, S- first of all. No, just one clairvoyant. <laughs> So I feel like he wouldn't want to embarrass himself again. I guess. I I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling it. But I will say, I was interested in how their shit was going to go down. Because I knew it was going to crash and burn. Because Jeannie's the first one to be like, we don't need to do anything serious. Like, we can just keep it casual. And I'm like, bitch, I'm clairvoyant. That shit's not going to work. Yeah, it never works. Because I think they were like two chapters in and she was like, how do I tell him I like him? Yeah. Ugh. And then he's over here like, fuck. I know I agreed to that, but like, what if I'm ready to move on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about the spice in this book? You know what's so funny? I remember because I listened to this book. Me too. 
And I remembered while I was listening to the spice, I was thinking, okay, for, like form an opinion. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Because I know Chelly's going to ask me. I think it was okay. I don't really dude, remember. Dude, dude, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> dude. Oh my God. It's been so long. It's been so long. Yeah. I was fucking as soon. No, they were fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so, as soon as that happened, all of a sudden I was like, I've never hated this book. Oh, I'm eating this shit up. You were always a fan. I was always a fan. I loved her hedgehogs, too. No, I thought it was cute. Yeah, it was. It was, you know. Well, I, I did think they were cute. Yeah, I, I get you, though. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I see you. I get you. Thank you. But I do I remember liking the spice. I just don't remember much of it. Well, I mean, they were just kind of like teenagers. <laughs> oh, yes. They were trying to fuck any chance they got. Mm-hmm. And then and then your favorite thing, miscommunication. <laughs> your favorite thing. I don't really like miscommunication if it's not done correctly. I want I want one of those moments where you where you walk into a conversation and it's finishing off with someone else and you're like, bitch, that's what I want. I don't want miscommunication when you're talking right in my face. Okay. The, no, I didn't mean it like that. Mm-hmm. Bitch. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Wait, what moment are you talking about? So the miscommunication. Mm-hmm. Basically, the fight that happened, it happens in Logan's home. And I think they have already had sex. No, they haven't had sex yet. And she goes over to his house to basically say that she's continuing to hear the noises. I think that was the whole point of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And when she goes over, uh, they start messing around. And it seems like they're going to have sex. And someone comes knocking at his door. And he apparently, allegedly, shoves her. Fucking she crashes into the wall <laughs> that's that strong of you a see shove. new moon remember when edward like shoved bella into the wall mm-hmm. and she like cut her arm exactly that's that. what happened and she was like wait does he not want to be a thing it's like genie 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 come on Come here, Jeannie. Come here, Jeannie. <laughs> Do you not remember like four chapters ago when you said, hey, let's just sleep together, keep it casual, not be a thing. Mm-hmm. And she even says it to herself. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. You notice that this book repeated itself a lot? Yeah. Yeah, I did notice. Every single, there was always. I was over the amount of times that she would say, no, that was the old Jeannie. New Jeannie. She would never do that. And with Logan, I know, I know he was dealing with it. He was really going through it. But I really hated the, how did he say it? He was like, I know what happened with Lucy, like was a mistake and I'm not going to let it happen again. Mm -hmm. You know? And he kept repeating that shit. And I was like, bitch. Did we even explain? Yeah, we did. It was the whole um, proposal that failed. That she said no to because she didn't want to be tied to this small town. Yeah, and then I was saying small town girl, small town world. Yeah. Yes. So they have a moment where they don't talk to each other for a while. And he's like, I fucked up. And then she's over here like, I can't stop thinking about him. But honestly, I would. <sighs> okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. 100% co-sign that. But I feel like I would too be very pissed off if I was like, you know, making out with someone. Then all of a sudden they just shove me away from them like if i'm some sort of disease no, like oh on- i'm sorry are you grossed out by you me? live on his grand you were at his grandmother and grandfather's ranch and if what an, about if it if an old person walked in <laughs> on me mid coitus <laughs> i'd be so but they fucking w- disturbed they weren't well they were about to they were about to but they there was nothing you know when they finally do have sex, mm-hmm. I think it's after it's in Jeannie's home and it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Beautiful. Love is love. <laughs> you know, love wins. Love is beautiful. Love is everything. Very magical. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then immediately after he's like, fuck, there's real estate, like realtor cards on her on her desk side. She so- has boxes that are still like, you know, not unpacked he, he makes a comment that when he gets into her house like you know you know it's the, the the cafe but you know upstairs when she gets into her 
living situation. It looks like she hasn't unpacked anything and it looks like she's just ready to leave at any second now, Mm -hmm. which again, this is a really big fear of his. So he basically tells her like, so you're leaving, Mm. right? You're, you're leaving. No, it's okay. You, you should leave. You know, like this probably isn't worth it anyway. Yeah. I don't know if they were even dating at this point. They were. No, they were. Like, they were, like... Remember they had held hands in front of everybody? Oh, you're because right. Because they were going to go judge Halloween costumes they were together. Hands. So they were holding hands. So now this whole town knew that they were going to sleep together. Yeah. And so once they slept together and he sees this, like, business card mm-hmm. from a real estate agent, he's thinking to himself, oh, shit, I knew it. I knew that she was going to leave me. Yeah. So then he leaves and mm-hmm. she's like, did I just get dumped? Yeah. Okay. Pin in that. There's a character we haven't talked about whose name was Norman. But I fucking, I feel gaslighted because I listened to the audiobook. I could have sworn the first five chapters this man's name was Walter. <laughs> so when, when they said Norman, I was like, who the fuck is Norman? Uh huh. His name was Walter, right? Do you, you heard it too, right? <laughs> Wait. You heard the voice? I'm very confused now. Norman? I'm going to be honest. When Norman came up, I was like, who the fuck is Norman? <laughs> no, I literally no was book. because I, I don't think that it was ever described to me that Norman was that bitch who stayed. Who stayed yeah, that's something I didn't like. And knew how the cafe ran. Mm-hmm. She never had conversations with this man that lasted more than like two lines. No. And then her other employee. employee Crystal. Also, they had a rift between them because Crystal obviously had a crush on Logan never came up though but i mean i get it though i mean hugh jackman (laughs) (laughs) young hugh jackman yes of course those two characters never came up i wish that she would have built friendships outside of logan's friendships Mm. that weren't the book club yeah you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so i hate that these two are never mentioned because norman is an og worker but (sighs) he used to work with dot it was so <laughs> obvious. Oh, my God. This girl. Explain it. Explain it. Everything was just going wrong in her cafe. Like, And then there was a moment when it was too cold. Mm-hmm. And she was like, Norman, can you make it a little bit warm? Why did you set it so cold here? Yeah. And he was like, you know, like, it was just like <laughs> mad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, like. Every, like he was just sabotaging her I, I knew it was him i was so mad at the fact that she was like who could be targeting me i'm not sure just I'm not, girl. i don't know who could be targeting me mm-hmm. the only bitch who hates you is norman and the reason norman did it was because he thought if he scared her maybe he could buy the cafe because dot dot should have gave it to him he'd been there longer that doesn't mean anything no it doesn't but he did feel very entitled to it but then he was like i'm sorry forgive me maybe forgive me i didn't mean i suppose i'm kind of secretly in love with dawn i'm sorry we'll get there i can't (laughs) but you know what else Mm. what else made me a little bit angry what was the fact that when genie realized that norman was trying to sabotage her business she was like well, can you, can you like stay though? Like, can you stay though? <laughs> you know, she was trying to still Wait. keep this man. Hold on. I know that you um were basically like, what what is it? Was this harassment? Yeah. But like, you didn't trying in your two weeks though. Trying to terrorize her because didn't he have someone break in yes. too? What the fuck? But you didn't do your two weeks and like, you know, you're still on the schedule and you're the only one that knows how to fill out the paperwork. So maybe stay, maybe. And he's mm-hmm. like, no, maybe it's time for me to go. Mm-hmm. Norman now. Ooh, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um, end of the book. So Logan feels bad because he loves her. Dude, he L words her Mm. and he's like, okay, I need to make this right. So I think I can't remember how their conversation goes, but I do remember Jeannie going like, don't let him in. Mm -hmm. Don't be strong. And he's like, Jeannie. And she's like, "Ah, me 
YouTube it. <laughs> I thought that was so funny because she was really, really busy at work. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he comes in, barging in, gives her a love declaration in front of all yeah. the cheese muscles. Yep. All of the little gossip bitches. And then they walk to the back in which he basically says like, I don't want anything else. I just want you. Mm-hmm. And then she breaks too and she's like, I want you too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and and then they kiss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They walk out hand in hand mm-hmm. and he holds up their hands and he's like, I love this woman. <laughs> and everyone's mid coffee like, Mm. <laughs> they don't give a fuck all of a sudden all no, of a sudden all, nobody cares they all stand up and cheer and cheer they and start cheering they're crying mm. yeah it's a beautiful moment yeah 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 the no oh can i say something that i yes. hated yes dot shows up you know bronzeada and everything <laughs> bronzed <laughs> she's 10 now and i She's just like, hey guys, miss you. No, she was pissed because of Norman. The whole situation with Norman. I hate how unrealistic this whole scene played out yeah. for me. Was that Jeannie, you know, heart of gold, Jeannie. Yeah, she was gold. like, Dot, don't be mad at him though. It's because I think he's in love with you. And then Dorman's like, it's because I'm in love with and you. Be- and then Dot's like, but I left it right open for you to come to me. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I didn't know that's something I can want. Yeah. So she had wanted to retire and she wanted him to retire with her. Yeah. But because he didn't bring it up, yep. she didn't want to bring it up. So in this town full of sexy people, I would rather have I, I, I would rather be sexy with you. Oh, beautiful. Goes out on one knee. Will you be sexy with me for the rest of your life? <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Everyone cheers again. <laughs> All, er, everyone. Sexy, sexy, sexy. <laughs> he takes off his shirt. <laughs> He's like old but ripped. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Mm. The, the end. There's an epilogue, but the end. God, can it just end? <laughs> <laughs> epilogue. I don't even remember what happens. I think they're living together by the epilogue and doesn't he doesn't he propose oh my god i don't remember that. i just remember the second book's epilogue i do too but in this epilogue doesn't he mention to hazel when he's gonna propose he doesn't propose no doesn't matter because you know what i closed the audiobook Got my phone. I rolled down my window. Uh, <laughs> She's out. I'm not even thinking about her <laughs> like anymore. Like frisbee. <laughs> it's so funny because I went out to eat with my friend. Mm. Um, and she lives a couple of hours away. So I drove for a bit. I finished this book. No, no, no. I shouldn't, I sh- I shouldn't say that. I was one chapter away from finishing this book mm. when I saw her. Uh-huh. And I parked my car. And I just remember going like. We're going to eat. We're going to be in there for three hours. And I have one chapter left. Uh I just want to know how this shit ends. We went to this little cafe. The cutest little thing I've ever seen. Pumpkin spice. It was all pumpkin themed. Wow. I was going to take pictures, but there was like a lot of people enjoying their like food. And I didn't want to be like, ooh. Like (laughs) a tourist. It was so cute, dude. Mm. So I really felt, I really felt like I was genie. You know? (laughs) you were in the atmosphere i'm genie i'm genie you were sexy and clairvoyant sexy and clairvoyant (laughs) and pumpkin spice (laughs) thank you dude thank you and you know how much i love pumpkin spice Mm. so that being said overall (laughs) (laughs) i can't with you uh, wait (laughs) wait i'm getting a vision i'm getting a vision i uh just remember i see a five out of five in me (laughs) (laughs) i see a five i see a five wait i'm clear i'm cleaning it (laughs) She's not a five. <laughs> not a five. Damn. Damn. I think the spice saved it. Yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> but even then, the spice wasn't spicing. You know what I mean? It was spicing. It, it was okay. It had spicy. been so long since I read spice. Girl, I was so excited. <laughs> I was just, yeah, like I said, grasping at straws. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I didn't like the repetitiveness in the writing. I felt like the characters repeated a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. And it felt like when they would tell a character something and then they would tell someone else, they had to repeat the whole thing that they told the other character. Mm-hmm. And it was like, you don't have to do that as an author. You could just say like, so I told them and then this, mm-hmm. you know? Well, no, just in case I forget, you know, which I did. Dude, I <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I knew their language so well. Like I knew the way that they were talking and I fucking hated it. I felt like they were always saying the same shit. And the miscommunication part, I thought that was stupid. Mm-hmm. I thought I thought that that didn't play out well. But I felt like it was very predictable. Yeah. I knew that he was going to find the business card and he was going to be like, I knew she was going to leave me like the other one. And can I say something? Mm. I don't like the cover. I love the cover. It I think it's so cute. Feels- it feels like she's going to give me some recipes. <laughs> she did it though. What I don't like about it is mm-hmm. I think that I'm now coming to a point, which is shocking because I liked the cover for like Spanish love deception and hating. Here games. we go. And now that I love it, no. you're over it. <laughs> what I, what I am starting to see a problem with only because it's been coming up in the news a lot. The is news? That, yeah. Is that kids are now grabbing these books thinking that they're cute. And I don't know if you heard, but there were kids that were bringing like, because it just looks like a book. They were like bringing fourth wing to like a middle school classroom. Oh, damn. But then it's okay. But then here's the conversation. Okay. Let's have the conversation. There are kids over here bringing coho, bringing full on spice books to school Mm -hmm. and parents are angry and districts are angry and they're like, what are we doing to stop this issue? Because never before... Has a child been exposed to such things? Cut back to fucking our generation when we first learned how to use a phone, and the first thing we look up is like, "What's fan fiction?" <laughs> <laughs> me looking up Inuyasha and yeah. going down a very me, sick rabbit hole. <laughs> me fucking looking up. What did I? What did I look up? I don't want to embarrass myself out here. Me fucking looking up Naruto and going, I just want to see a a cute, yeah. I just want to see a cute picture of Naruto. I just want to see a cool picture of Naruto with his friends. And then finding. At the time, the images. Do you remember Google images before? Yep. Dude, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. There was no safety, guys. No. No. Safety search was not on. (laughs) So isn't it kind of crazy that now. That type of stuff is accessible in different ways. But now mm. people are kind of like, our youth should not read this. Wait, and I agree. I, I don't want to see it in my classroom. I don't mm. want my kids to be like, fourth wing. And I'm like, no, no, no. God, I if a kid... Dude, I can't even imagine me being a child reading a book that thick. Yeah. Fourth well, wing But is- we did on our little screens <laughs> on fanfiction.net, chapter 76. Okay, like, but that's different though. Like nobody, Is it? Nobody has to see it. <laughs> I remember I read this one. Someone's going to find it. <laughs> I read this one fact, fan fiction a long time ago, mm. and it was called um, Neapolitan. And I like, <laughs> you told me about this. <laughs> and I was like, I love ice cream. What uh-huh. the fuck? And it, it really was fuck because that's all he did mm. the whole i think it was like two chapters long all they did was fuck and Damn. i was over here like after i finished i think i like put my phone down because i had a little track phone that had minutes i ran out of minutes <laughs> so i was like fuck now i can't really <laughs> that's it yeah and i remember closing the tab and then i closed my phone and then i prayed and i i asked for forgiveness oh <laughs> that's so sad I was like, okay i don't think i was supposed to read that so your your point is, is that this book covers too cutesy yes okay and i think there should be i don't know because is it is that weird why for are me you to even say? allowed to buy it though as a child because don't you a, get id'd no well think about it back then movies used to not have ratings it started to have ratings when it started to get too much and people noticed it Oh when God. people complain about certain things, that's when they start adding things. No one's complained oh, about the books shit. until now. So I feel like books are going to start having like... Ratings! A, yeah. <gasps> Doesn't it feel like it? Like we're going towards that? Oh my God, you're right. I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, I don't know either. Well, I mean, I think it's good. I think it's good too. It's just weird. You know, it's weird for me to say that knowing full on that when I was 11, I read shit where I was like, 
oh shit but even i knew like i'm not gonna go to school and be like guess what i read <laughs> you sit down people i'm about to tell you about this story i wouldn't do that dude yeah um probably like a two out of five <laughs> I like the characters. I thought they were funny. Yeah. I thought it was cute. I thought the spice was good. Didn't care about the story at all. This book gave me like Hallmark yes. Christmas movie vibes. My mom, she goes on these like, what are they? Like Hallmark. sprees. Like she'll just watch like a bunch of Hallmark I movies. And I won't like see the whole movie. But I'll see like a snippet and I'll know the whole fucking movie. I know where this shit is going. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. It was very predictable. But I think that overall, I think I enjoyed it okay. more than you, at least. Okay. I, it, I wouldn't say it was life changing, though. It's not like my favorite book or anything. I think it's a very middle ground. OK, so I think I would give it like a three. I love that for around you. there. I love that for you. Thank you. Well, to everyone who is listening to us in audio form, whether that be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or anywhere you get your podcasts on, thank you so much. If you can leave a rating of five stars, some of you have been, and it really means a lot. It's That'd definitely it's definitely helping us out a lot. Yeah. If you also want to leave a review, maybe recommending us our next read, that would be great. I feel like November, new beginnings. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you want to support us and you have a little bit of money, what can they do? So we do have a Patreon and it really just serves as a way for our listeners to let us know that you really enjoy our content. You can find us on patreon.com slash book fix. But if you don't want the commitment of monthly, then you can find us on coffee, which is ko fi dot com slash the book fix or buy me a coffee dot com slash the book fix if you want to support us if you're watching us on youtube thank you so much if you can like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell because we post every tuesday and thursday i just realized there's three books in this series yeah of course all of the side characters have their own books who's the third one is it jacob no, the tree farm. She comes up in the second one that she doesn't want the tree farm. Oh, I forgot that she just walked in and left. Mm -hmm. She was like, I don't give a fuck what you guys want. I'm not. I don't want the tree farm. Dude, you know what's so funny? I feel like Bennett and Jacob are going to be a thing. Bennett? Ben <laughs> Bennett? Who's Bennett? The brother? <laughs> the brother. Oh, Bennett. I feel like Bennett and Jacob. Oh, I do want to say that I did really like their relationship together, even though I didn't remember his name. Dude, thank you. What was I going to say? Oh, if you want to support us on social media, we have an Instagram, a Threads, a Goodreads, and a Fable at The Book Fix Pod. And we do have a TikTok at The Book Fix. Thank you. So why don't we read positive and negative reviews? I'll read positive. Okay. I do want to say that what I said earlier about, remember the scratching and the knocking over the trash can and all that shit yeah. that was bothering her in the beginning. And I said that I knew where it was going to go. Yeah. I meant to say I knew that it was going to be a cat. Like I knew it was going to be an uh, animal. Okay. Not about the whole her being tormented <laughs> by her coworker. Okay. I, I found um, a five star that I want to read. It's really short. Mm-hmm. Alma gave this a five out of five and she just wrote so cringy, but I ate it all up. <laughs> <laughs> this review comes from Cameo Rose. They gave it one out of five and they wrote, I hated everyone but Casper the cat. Thank you so much for listening and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I didn't like the cat. No. Fuck the cat. Well, I thought you would like it because you have cats. I think i like them <laughs> <laughs> i thought you loved your cats i do like my cats the other day i looked at my 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 boy you know my big girthy boy yes well he's and not as girthy he's getting girthy again dude oh yes you did say that he's been eating yeah i looked at him the other day and i started to like kind of tear up because he's kind of beautiful oh he's turning 10 in july isn't that crazy what the fuck he's old his face has like the white furs now mm -hmm. does that make you sad <laughs> Yeah, oh my he can't God. live forever, dude. How long if is, he's is still it? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. If he's still kicking by the time I get married, I want to put him in a little suit. Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> he's, a, he's just like already in a suit. You're right. <laughs> I love my little man. Put a picture of him here. <laughs> How is this so sad and so funny? I don't know. <laughs>